All right, welcome now to our third video in our new to the Neurovation series. In this video, we're gonna talk about the treatment process for neurofeedback. Now, in general, we're gonna be working with a couple of different processes. I just want people to be totally clear about what to expect when you get services for neurofeedback. We always start with assessment. Good assessment leads to good treatment plans where we start doing our treatment and I always want to make sure that we're moving in the right direction. So throughout treatment, we're going to be kind of cycling through with periods of review prior to discharge. So I'm going to go through each one of these very briefly. In order to get started with neurofeedback, the first thing that you're going to want to do is schedule several appointments. Now, for some of you, it's going to be fewer, and for, for others, it'll be a little bit more. It kind of depends on insurance coverage and the like, but you can find that out more by calling the office. But in general, when we do assessment, there will be four one-hour appointments. There might be fewer than that, but in general, four. The first one is what we call a QEEG. And that's actually when you come by the office here and you'll have the cap put on your head and we'll get a sample of your EEG. Like I said, it's completely painless and uh, completely non-invasive other than having a bunch of goop put in your hair. But all you'll do is stare at the wall for six minutes and then you'll close your eyes with the cap on your head for six minutes. And that information gets recorded and uploaded and sent over to our neuroanalysts. So I'm gonna kind of, kind of say over here, we've got neuroanalysis going on. And that process is being done by individuals who are trained to do neuroanalysis. They, they work with EEGs all the time. It's gonna take them two to three hours to go over your information, each one, and draft uh, a report which you'll eventually get. Now, in the meantime, we've got three other appointments. Now, these other ones can be done online. QEEG is the only one that needs to be done in our office. There will be an assessment or an intake. There will be what we call a uh, review. And there will be what we call a symptom tracker. And again, each one of these is gonna be about one hour long. Now what'll happen is that QEEG information after we've done your assessment, we will discuss the outcomes with the neuroanalysts and then come back for a review session, okay? And during that review, you'll get a notebook with all kinds of information, including the neuroanalysis, the QEEG data, um, and a clinician will go over that with you in detail. This is an awesome appointment, one of my favorite appointments to do. Most of the time, people walk away feeling very validated in the findings. And at some point, we will do, either in person or as a take-home, um, this thing called a symptom tracker. Now, the symptom tracker is crucial for our outcomes. One of the things that I want people to be very clear of is because the EEG, your EEG, is as unique as your body, as unique as your personality, my job is not to give you a normal EEG. That's kind of silly. Um, our job is to help your EEG be as effectively regulated as possible. And then the question becomes, how do we know it's effective? Well, because the symptoms that you identified as being the problem, the ones that you've scored high, we would score them on a zero to 10 scale, those have come down. So therefore, my goal for discharge is a 50% reduction in the symptoms, okay? So that kind of de defines where we wanna go. Now, anybody that's familiar with the mental health field, in most cases, if you can get a 30% improvement in symptomology, that's a great outcome. At the Neurovation Center, uh, when folks are compliant, they follow through with the things that we ask them to do. In most cases, probably 85 to 90% of the time, I can hit 50%. That's how effective neurofeedback is. Once you get this completed, then we go into the treatment. Now, treatment is two to three times a week, and each appointment is 45 minutes long. And in here, you get about... 30 minutes of neurofeedback time. 
And that's what happens in, in terms of doing your training. Now people will ask, well, how long do I need, need to do this? On average, I encourage people to be prepared for 45 treatment appointments. That's correct. Uh, oftentimes people will wonder, well, you know, um, <laughs> why don't people do neurofeedback? Well, two top reasons will be, and just being honest, it's either going to be um, because of the long, kind of a longer term commitment. You're talking about it between three and six months, depending on how quickly you go and how far uh, you need to go in order to get the results or the cost. That's something that we talk about in the FAQs. Um, but in the end, the strength of neurofeedback is its outcomes, absolutely phenomenal outcomes. So kind of a normal range, early discharge is probably 35 sessions, a high range is probably 65 sessions. And we will be reviewing, all right, periodically. So you'll have a review after the 15th appointment and after the 35th appointment in order to check in and see how you're doing. So at the 15th appointment, you would repeat the EEG and then there would be another review where we look at the symptoms again and we find out how you're doing and make adjustments based upon that data. Same thing typically at session 35, but that may depend on how well you're doing. If you're wrapping up, I don't need to do another EEG. We're just gonna do a review, make sure everything's good. But if you're looking to go further, we'll probably do another EEG. Um, but that's pretty much the system that we're going through. Now, I also want folks to realize um, that it is a process. Um, you know, you can take little breaks here and there, but it's kind of like training to, uh, to, to run a half marathon, right? If you wanted to train and you wanted to get into shape, you would need to, you know, go for a jog a couple of times a week. You need to be pretty faithful with it and you need to hang in there with it. And that's the same thing with neurofeedback. And in the same way that you would see gradual process um, with, uh, you know, fitness training, you're going to see it with this. So when I, when I try to talk to people about it, in most cases, right, if this is symptom improvement going up this way, and this is time, typically I'll see in the beginning, you know, let me just say 15 appointments and 30 and 45 appointments in general. A lot of times it's a little bit less in the beginning, and then you see it building on itself. And then by the time I get to 35, I might be starting to round off on some of the improvements that I would expect to see. Typically at the 15th appointment, I'm kind of plus or minus 20%, oftentimes between 10 and 30% reduction at that point in time. And by the time I'm getting up to 35 is when I'm getting pretty close to the 50. And typically after that 35, this is normal. This is kind of like your baseline expectation. After that, I can kind of shift my angle of approach and get some other significant improvements. Um, so in general, this is what we're looking at. Uh, people will ask me why I do it this way. Experience, this is just what I found works. Um, you can talk to some people who will say they can do it in less time. Some people it'll say it takes longer. Again, it depends upon what your goals are, what your objectives are, and how you do neurofeedback. In general, I would be very skeptical of anybody that says that they're gonna complete you in 15 appointments. Doesn't work that way. Um, it, it just kind of takes time. And one of the things that I would encourage you on is through this period, um, we're working with you the entire way and also would want you to know that the gains that you have, and I'll address some of this in the FAQs, um, are essentially, I use the term enduring, uh, not necessarily permanent, that's a bad way to phrase it, but enduring means once you get those changes, they're relatively locked in. So this is uh, information that you'll find on our website. If you go to www.theneurovationcenter.com, you can find all of this data there. And also, feel free to give us a call. Um, and I'd encourage you to look at our FAQs next in terms of understanding some of those questions, right, that you're just going to want to know more about. So thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.